Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Virginia Hobday and I'm the Medical Director at Cayman Clinic. We are very fortunate in the Cayman Islands to have received a Pfizer vaccine over the last several months and initially the uptake was very good. At Cayman Clinic we were incredibly excited as, as healthcare providers to go and get our vaccines and we did it all together because we felt it was an important message to send to our patients, one, to keep them safe, but also to keep our community safe. And we are in a privileged position. We should really value what we have. There are people around the world who would be very, very happy to have, to have access to the vaccines that we have. So there are people who have concerns about the vaccine and we speak to people like that every day. And we try to give them good sources of reference to go to, not to just Google, you know, people who have vested interests, anti-vaxxers, because your know, information is going to be uh, biased in that situation. So talking to your healthcare provider or being guided by uh, reputable websites is a good way to get information. Um, We've talked a little bit about side effects in the past. These are you know, expected side effects. Any vaccine can cause fever, soreness at the site, um, and really that's really all we have seen. Some people get a little worse than others, but you know, taking paracetamol or Tylenol will, will help with that. And believe me, it's a lot better than getting COVID. Getting COVID is, is especially for the vulnerable in our community, and we're, we see what, you know, the vulnerable are people who have cancer, people who have chronic illnesses, people who have end-of-life illnesses. These are people who would be severely impacted if they got COVID. And around the world they are, they are dying from it. So we have to think of ourselves, we have to think of our families and our friends, but we have to think of the vulnerable in our community as well. Um, and I think that's my message, is to try and imagine your grandmother or your family member who has a condition like that and who got COVID, how, how you would feel. And you wouldn't be able to visit them in hospital. And people die on their own when they die of COVID because they have to be separated. So that is, that is a very um, real and hard reality that we have to think about because we haven't really been exposed to it. But people around the world have. We would really encourage you to get this vaccine before, um, before the 9th of June because it's going to be help help you and help your family and it's going to globally help and it's going to help you as far as travel is concerned it's going to keep um, our community safe and in particular the vulnerable in our community